the human brain. The brain. So what is brain training? Essentially, the idea is, you know, can we train our brain? Can we make our brain somehow smarter? People can train their brain waves. The really bigger question for, for scientists today is, if you can shift your brain waves, does that lead to, to better outcomes? So far, there hasn't been a lot of research studies to support that idea. And NeuroCore is really the most recent iteration of this. Where conflicts are ident identified, they will be resolved. I will not be conflicted, period. She did resign from the board when she uh, became the Secretary of Education, but she has uh, retained her very large investment. So the question is, why does our Secretary of Education, arguably the foremost educator in the country, endorse something where there's no evidence? I flew down to Florida to try and see what this was like. I then had a sort of a swim cap put on my head and some electrodes put in there, and then I stared off into the distance while they measured my brain waves, these EEG results, images of my skull, and then in shades of red and green uh, showed sort of more activity or less activity. I'm going to admit that you know I have had some attention issues uh, over the years. I did spend some time in special education as as a, uh, as a kid, and I want to be clear that I wasn't told that I had an ADHD diagnosis, but the implication was certainly there, right, from this very simple test. The treatment is about $2,000. If you pay in full, they offer a discount. You would go in and you'd have some very specific areas of your brain that you want to train. Neurocore the company, they use movies. What happens is you watch a movie and then as these sensors detect that your brain waves are not going in the direction that the company would like, uh, the movie slows down and this sort of subconscious kind of very direct feedback allows you to, to shift uh, these, these brain waves. If you go to the American Association of Pediatrics and say, do you endorse neurotraining uh, for young children who have ADHD? They say there's not enough evidence there. When I called my own insurance company, Care First, and said, you know, will you reimburse me for something like this? They said no. I spoke to many other researchers who followed this over the years. Some say that, you know, it's something that's promising. Many say, you know, we should continue to research it. But when you ask them, you know, should I pay $2,000 out of my own pocket? They were like, well, I, the research just isn't there yet. But the question here is, you know, is the millions of dollars, the millions of federal dollars that we have invested in schools, is that at stake? And what does it mean for students with special needs? More broadly, we have uh, an administration that is very loose with the, the facts, very loose with the details, and that's particularly true when it comes to, to profits. NeuroCore is different than a lot of other things we've seen in the Trump administration, but from that lens, I think it, it provides you know, more evidence around uh, the way that this uh, administration looks at facts, looks at social policies, and raises, in my mind, a lot of questions.